Okay, Damien, you've got your uh, your slalom set up here. Um, let's just uh, run me down the, the size of board and the size of fin that you use on, on that board. On the medium board, I use uh, 35 to 48 fins um, because I can use the 7.0 and the 7.8, so it's all about the, the set that I choose. And then on the, on the small board, which is good, I only use one fin for all the sizes uh, to 5.8 to 7.0. I only use a, a 32, and which is good because when you are seeing every rider, they are struggling to choose the right fin. I know with this board, I, I don't have to, to, to think about that. Yeah. So. And what about the stance on the board? Like, do you, how do you set your foot straps? Do you, you know, do you have them different on both boards or the same on both boards? How do you have it set? Yeah. Um, concerning the size, I have one of, I am one of the sailors which uh, want to keep space uh, yeah. in the foot strap. It allows me to, um, in the jive, it allows me to, to take out easily my, my foot. And then on the, on the reach, I can put my foot where, where, wherever I want. Yeah. I can um, place them wherever I want. So, And the uh, back foot, same? And the back foot is the same. A bit tighter maybe, yeah? Yeah, a bit tighter than the, yeah. on the, front, the front strap, but uh, compared to the other sailor, other sailor try to, to only get the... The line here, yeah. and I really want to push a little bit forward. So. Okay. Um, and uh, mast base position. Do you put, do you have a sweet spot, or do you move the mast base around on your board? Yeah. What position do you have? Do you have it in the same position every time, or do you move? It's all about the sail. Also, the same as the fin. Um, the small is my sail. Uh, then I will put a little bit uh, on the back, the mast, and the bigger is my sail. Then I will put it on the front to to keep some uh, control. Okay. Downhauling a sail. How much downhaul do you put on, and, and you know, is it the same every time, or, or what, how, what's your thinking, and what's the reasons for putting? It really depends on, on the condition. On flat water, I, I will put a little bit more downhaul because it gives you more speed but less control. And on choppy water like here, I put a little bit less downhaul to very uh, keep uh, comfort and control. So in this kind of condition, I put a, a little bit less downhaul than. Uh, every time yeah. and it also concerns the board because on the 7.0 I can put it on the small board or on the big board, on the medium board I mean and on the medium board I will put more than hold than the, okay, than so the little okay. one. And what's the reason for this? Why, why would you do that? The reason is uh, all about the lift that gives you the, the sail. The more than hold you put on the, on the sail, the more lift you will have and on the small boards, because it is a small board you really need some lift because if you are stuck then it's then you will not advance, yeah. so it's just to get more lift. Perfect. Boom height, do you keep the same boom height? Do you move the boom around? What, what do you do with the boom? Mm, I'm one of the sailors which have the, the boom pretty low uh, because I'm more comfortable like this. So I always keep the, the okay, boom so uh, at this height. So it's pretty low. Uh, I mean, the maximum yeah. I will have will be there. Yeah. And when the wheel really pick up, when I'm at the start, I can put the boom a little bit lower. And why, why would you move the boom up and down? What's the reason for that? Um, it's all about control uh, and power. The more the, the, the boom is high, the more power and lift you will have. And then when you get a little bit lower, you will have more comfort and control. Perfect. Harness lines, I see you have adjustables. Do you move them a lot? They're quite long, 34 it says. Yeah, but normally they are not so longer. They are not so long. But here in this yeah. choppy water, you really need to have a long harness line. And even if I add some bigger one, I will choose them because you can uh, sit, uh, you can really see it uh, and get your pressure really down. And then it's more easy to control the board. So do you ever sail with short lines? Do you shorten them much? Um, in the big size, 9 to 8, 6, 2, 5, 8, yeah. every time uh, I get 2 cm longer on each size. I mean, on the on the 8, 6, uh, we have something like 20, 28, 26, yeah. and then on the 5, 8, I will have something like 36, so it's yeah, yeah. a little bit longer. Um, outhaul, you don't actually have an adjustable on this sail. Uh, do you adjust the outhaul much or not really? Normally, I used to get the, the outhaul uh, kit, yeah. but um, in my mind, when you get the the, the perfect uh, setup, you don't need to, to adjust them all the time, and it's um, it's difficult to control them because in the jibe, sometimes you you have to put your hand on it. So 
I just went like this and I think it's good. Okay. Uh, masks, finally, uh, well, you know, do you have a lot of masks? What's your plan with the masks? <coughs> yeah, in the beginning of the season, I used to, to try all the masks I could. The previous one, uh, some, yeah, some flex one. Um, and it's true that on each size, you got the mat that uh, is perfect for the sale. But I think it's more in the mind that, in fact, um, when you say something is good, then you're going to order and you are pretty sure that it's good. So, but yeah, I have some spare mast. It's all about spare mast because uh, if you break a mast, you need another one. So, have a good one, yeah. And finally, do you tension buttons much? Do you ever tweak the buttons? Do you ever change them? Yeah, I used to to change them because you got the tips, which is the the front part of the of the button. And this gives the, the shape of the button, the, the flex of the button. So on some size, I make them a little bit longer to got uh, more profile on the sail and got more power, uh, especially on the big size. Yeah. Okay. Good, man. Well, thank you. That's it. So there we go, Damien Arnoux, one of the young up-and-coming slalom talents. He got a feel for those young boys this year. You know, it doesn't look like we're going to get many competitions. Um, well, if any competitions this year, but uh, still, um, a lot of the countries now allowing you back on the water. So hopefully a few of those tips are going to be trinkling uh, in your setup uh, for going out there. Uh, don't forget, we've done other ones with other riders from other brands. We've got quite a collection on there now. So if that wasn't one of your brands, you can maybe find it in the rest of them. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Obviously, subscribe. Uh, if you want to join the membership program, win some prizes, you can do that too. Just chip in a bit of beer money uh, and we'll see you for the next video.